The abduction pillow is used to prevent axillary contractures. This splint is used in pre- and post-operative management of soft tissue infections, burns, and skin grafting in the axilla. This is the positioning device of choice in the elderly. When this splint is used as a positioning device, it helps to prevent or hinder further development of contractures. The abduction pillow may also be used with patients who are not able to comply with stretching exercises. To apply the abduction pillow, the patient may require assistance into the appropriate position for placement of the pillow if he is having pain or stiffness in the joint. The curved side of the pillow should fit snugly against the flank. The patient's arm is placed over the top of the pillow. The 45 degree angle of the pillow faces toward the floor. First, place the upper arm strap on, and then, with the palm of the hand resting over the bump on the end of the pillow, attach the wrist strap. Place the splint snugly so that the pillow fits into the axilla and holds the correct position of abduction. The straps are then adjusted to keep the pillow secure and maintain the appropriate axilla stretch. This splint is used for prevention of axillary contractures. The axilla is at high risk for contracture. Often, this splint is used from the day of admission for children or patients who are unable to comply with positioning and exercise recommendations. To apply the splint, the patient may require assistance to achieve the appropriate position for placement of the axilla splint, especially if he is having pain or stiffness in the joint. Once the appropriate position is achieved, place the splint into the axilla space and against the flank. The shoulder of the patient will need to be seated into the splint to obtain the best fit. This splint does not go on with the patient's arm straight out from the body. The patient's arm should be forward of the body so that the brachial plexus tension is at a minimum. Place the arm of the patient into the arm trough of the splint with the thumb positioned up. This positioning helps to prevent any pressure areas from forming. Using an elastic bandage, begin to wrap at the flank and continue wrapping around the torso to secure the splint in place. A second person may be needed to assist with keeping the shoulder and axilla seated into the splint while it is being secured into place. Wrap the trunk first and support the base of the splint. Continue wrapping the elastic bandage around the torso covering both the upper and lower edges of the splint to prevent slippage. The arm will fit gently into the trough of the splint. After wrapping around the arm and shoulder, use a diagonal line of pull on the elastic bandage at the shoulder to secure the splint. A figure eight pattern may be used around the shoulders for a snug fit. Depending on the burn injury and purpose of the splint, the hand and elbow may or may not be wrapped into place. The patient's hand is supported in the arm trough portion of the splint past the wrist so that only the thumb and fingers are free. Secure the elastic bandages with tape or clips.